the Golden State Warriors put the NBA on notice. As you all know, the Warriors got off to a rocky start this season, where they were actually ranked second last in the Western Conference. However, as of recent, they have turned this season around because they are currently back into the playoff picture and they are pushing for the number one spot in the Western Conference. In today's video, we're going to be going through three major things that the Golden State Warriors are doing that are putting them back into the top playoff spot and continuing to dominate the NBA. So we're going to be going through that in today's video, so make sure to like this video and if you want more Golden State Warriors content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that red button down below. But let's get into the first major reason and that is Stephen Curry is playing at an MVP level. As you all know, Stephen Curry is Stephen Curry and he's going to be doing some crazy things during this season. And he has definitely showed that, especially when it comes to the stat sheet. So far this season, he is actually putting up 30 points per game and also averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds, 6.8 assists and also one steal a game. So he is putting up some insane stats and I think it's fantastic to see that Stephen Curry hasn't slowed down and he's continuing to be better and better as time goes on. To put this in perspective, the last time he's actually averaged 30 points was back in 2016. So it definitely does show that Stephen Curry has gotten better as time gone on and he is aging like fine wine. Now if we look at his three point percentage as well, it's even gone up because he's actually averaging 11.6 three point attempts per game and he's shooting 43%. Guys, these types of numbers have honestly been insane and it's never been done before until Stephen Curry has come into the league. I think a really major thing that has really improved from Stephen Curry's game is definitely his strength. He's gotten a lot bigger, he's starting to look pretty jacked and Steph Curry going into the paint is definitely a problem for a lot of these defenders. And I think Stephen Curry has definitely improved in all facets when it comes to shooting, his playmaking ability, his defense, all that great stuff. But if we look at his effective field goal percentage guys, he's actually having having an effective field goal percentage that has been his highest since of 62%. The last time he's actually shot this well in an effective field goal percentage of 60% was back in 2015 and 2016, which is pretty much peak Stephen Curry. So as you guys see, Stephen Curry is back and playing at his peak of the 2015-2016 season, and he's only getting better as time goes on. Stephen Curry is an integral part to the Golden State Warriors, and if he continues to play this way, then we can definitely see Golden State Warriors Warriors make him back into the playoffs and back into the NBA Finals. Where I see Stephen Curry really improve so far this season, however, is definitely in his defensive abilities. If we look at his rebounding, his rebounding is actually the highest it's ever been with, like we said, 6.6 .6 rebounds. And I honestly do think when it comes to his on-ball defense, it's gotten a lot better. He's stronger now, he's able to read defenders very well, and he's able to contest shots at a very high rate. A lot of the people that are getting defended by Stephen Curry thinks they can bully him, but nowadays, Stephen Curry is a whole different beast. So for him to improve his defensive game has definitely seen a huge impact on the starters when it comes to the defensive ability of those five with Draymond, Clay, Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, all these great players out there. And if we look at his most current games, he recently just dropped 38 points on the Indiana Pacers and he continues to put up 38 bombs, 40 bombs on a regular basis. Stephen Curry has to continue this up if they want to continue on this journey due to the fact that they have lost a couple of players last season so two things can happen it's rather Stephen Curry continues to step up or the other role players around him continue to step up and fill the gaps that were left by Gary Payton the second Otto Porter Jr and JTA the second big reason is the return of Clay Thompson to playing back to his old self now I think Clay Thompson needed some time to readjust as he missed two seasons of a knee injury and also an Achilles injury last season he definitely helped the Golden State Warriors win an NBA championship but he even said himself that he doesn't feel hundred percent and back to where he was before. If we look at his stats so far this season, he's actually averaging 18.7 points per game, 2.9 rebounds, and 2.4 assists. So he's putting up some pretty good stats on all facets, but I think with the help of Andrew Wiggins, he has had taken a little bit of a smaller role when it comes to him just focusing on scoring. His defensive ability now obviously has been hindered, especially due to the fact that a knee and Achilles injury guys can be considered career-ending injuries. So for him to come back in this shape is honestly fantastic to see. So Andrew Wiggins has taken more of those defensive abilities, but Klay Thompson definitely needs to continue to score. And that's what he's been doing on a day in day out basis. If we look at his three point percentage, it actually has improved drastically. Last season, he was only shooting 30% from the three point line. And this season, guys, he's shooting 38. So he's up there when it comes to the three point percentage, especially in this team. And back in his peak days of 2015, 2016, Klay Thompson, he was shooting a percentage of 42%. So he's 
almost there definitely very very close and if we look at his effective field goal percentage guys it is slowly creeping up to where it was back in his peak days of 2015-2016 of 56 percent where right now he's currently averaging 53 percent as an effective field goal percentage so he's definitely getting up there and i think it's honestly fantastic to see clay thompson back i know everyone as a warriors fan or even an nba fan can definitely be happy for clay thompson to be able to play at such a high level even understanding that he has had two career ending injuries guys a lot of people that tear that acl don't come back a lot of people that also tear their achilles don't come back a perfect example of this was kobe tearing his achilles where he couldn't come back when it comes to his athleticism and also a knee injury is the famous derrick rose so clay thompson has definitely gone through so much adversity and he has honestly been able to use that to become a better player so far this season he's been putting up some great numbers especially in close out games he's had a recent game actually against the boston celtics where they got the win by 16 points and he dropped 34 in that game while also shooting 50 percent from the field so clay thompson is back to where he was before and i think this is definitely going to help this golden state warriors team not only just in the regular season but also in the postseason as well the third major reason is andrew wiggins as you all know andrew wiggins has been injured for the last couple of games however so far this season he's putting up some insane stats that you may not have expected from someone like andrew wiggins so far this season he's actually averaging 19 points per game 5.1 rebounds and 2.2 assists while also averaging 1.5 steals and one block and i think that's honestly fantastic to see because as you all know andrew wiggins back in the day wasn't really considered a scorer especially a three-point shooter but so far if we look at his stats it definitely shows otherwise his rookie season with the minnesota timberwolves his three-point percentage was actually 30 percent and he was only attempting 1.5 three-point attempts per game now this season guys in 2022 2023 he's actually averaging 6.8 three-point attempts per game and he's shooting 45 percent from the three guys he has the best three-point percentage in this team higher than steph curry and i think this is honestly insane to see because a couple of seasons ago you wouldn't have thought that andrew wiggins would be a three-point shooter but now you definitely have to get out to that shot because he can knock it down in a hurry andrew wiggins has also had some insane games where his most recent game before he actually got injured he actually scored 36 points and shot eight from 10 from the three-point line guys he shot 80 percent from the three-point line that is honestly insane to put that in perspective guys i honestly think that andrew wiggins has surprised a lot of people and i think now he can definitely say that he is a three-point shooter so they have clay they got steph curry and now they got andrew wiggins in that starting lineup who can shoot lights out and it's going to be scary for a lot of other teams i think andrew wiggins still has a lot of potential to grow he is getting a little bit older but he still you know still has a lot left in him to be in his peak years and i think as he continues to head on into his 30s i think it would be fantastic for him to continue to improve and continue to get better so thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon peace